negate the quantified statement and then rewrite it in English in an alternative way. The statement is, all parrots fly. And what you have to recall, uh, by the way, it's a multiple choice problem. Those are going to be our choices. But what you have to recall is what we've talked about earlier and what really makes things easier uh, uh, the idea of the universal and existential quantifiers and that hint at the bottom that I just flashed up says the negation of a universal statement will be an existential statement and the negation of an existential statement will be a universal statement so what that t hint tells me right away is that because I know that this statement has all which is a universal quantifier that the negation will have one of the um, existential quantifiers in it and that would be some there exists at least one the things that specify some subset of a larger group so looking down at our multiple choices I can immediately say well some is one of those existential so is there exists and uh, we've got those. The only one that will not work for certain is choice B because it's another all. The negation of an all is never going to be another all or any other universal quantifier. So I immediately know right away that B is out. It's not possibly going to be the answer. Now beyond that, I want to negate that statement. The statement says all parents parrots fly and just thinking about this common sense wise if I want to negate that I need to find a parrot that doesn't fly finding flying parrots are not it's not going to negate that statement at all so statement a still says parrots fly and so does C so it seems pretty obvious that if you're going to negate the statement about all parrots flying it's going to have to involve not flying and now that we've eliminated B in the very beginning, the only other one that could possibly work is D. So this is the sort of logic you've got to use as you're doing these type problems. Try another. Same directions, but this time the statement is some lines do not have claws. Now, again, it's multiple choice, and these are going to be your possible answers. Uh, going back again to the hint about universal versus existential quantifiers, this sum lines, the sum is an existential quantifier. So the negation will be one of the universals. So since I picked out the fact that sum is existential, I know that the negation will be one of the universal ones, all, each, every, no, and none. Now looking at the choices, C and D both are in the same category as some. So it can't be C or D. So right away I've eliminated two of the four choices. Now I've got to think about what I want to do. I want to negate that statement. The statement is that some lines do not have claws. So if I produce a line that have has claws, I haven't negated that at all. Because it only says some don't have claws. So that I'm looking at statement B while I'm saying this. All lines have claws is the only one of those two choices left that would negate the original statement. If I say no li lines have claws, that's not the negation of some lines do not have claws. So the choice has to be B. Now I really want you to think hard about this. The fact that all lines have claws is the ne correct negation. Because both of those statements can't be true at once. If, if you say some lines do not have claws, and I say all lines have claws, one of us is not correct. One of those statements is false. But if you say some lines do not have claws, and I say no lines have claws, we could both be correct. You may have a cage full of lines without claws, and the fact that I said no lines have claws doesn't negate what you said. 
conversely, if you say some lines do not have claws and I say all lines have claws, both of those statements can't be true. If yours is true, mine is false. If mine is true, yours is false. So think really hard about this because the concept is pretty simple once you understand what you're trying to do.